Okay, so we have Marie here riding a training horse, Brule. And he's an 11 year old thoroughbred. This is just our third session with him, and we are 110% convinced that he is a right brain introvert. <laughs> Thank you for standing and posing like that, Brule. <laughs> so, this horse has been jumped and ridden quite a lot and we're just going back and see if we can rebuild his relationship with contact in a more positive way. So Marie is going to be going through what I came up with and call the rain sequence. So Marie to start, you're doing a beautiful job riding him on a loose freestyle rein. And when you're ready you're going to test his relationship with contact by going from casual to concentrated and just holding that rein position for a few strides and then letting it go back to casual. So all we're doing here is testing the horse's relationship with contact. Do they perceive the bit as a barrier? or short reins as claustrophobic. They should not. So Marie's gonna review that a couple times. And essentially all she's doing is friendly game with the bit. Approaching and retreating, and approaching and retreating. And she's gonna do that until she feels like Mr. Brule can keep the same amount of rhythm and relaxation as she goes from casual to concentrated and back to casual. You guys can see there the moment she starts picking up the reins, head goes up, stride gets shorter. Now this is his first time with this, this specific sequence, so you guys are seeing the very beginning stages. That's a better picture. So it's really important when you're doing this that as you pick up the contact, you pick up the reins, you do not slow down your hips. So Marie's doing a beautiful job of keeping her hips moving in a walk rhythm. Because we're up there, we're the leader of the dance. So if you get stiff and tight, of, horse, of course your horse will get stiff and tight. So if you practice this at home, as you go from casual to concentrated, that was beautiful. You're going to say to yourself, as you pick up the reins, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, to keep the rhythm going. Let's do that once more, Marie, and then I think you're ready for the next step. So notice that time when she picked up the reins. Yes, the head still came up, but he did not lose his rhythm quite as poorly. And now the head's coming down a lot faster this time. Really good. All right, so the next step of the sequence is adding in an upward transition. So Marie's gonna go from casual to concentrated, hold for a few strides, and then as the reins go long again, she's going to ask for an upward transition. So it's as if she's saying, here's a long rein, front doors open, and get your butt through it. Long rein and trot. Good, then she's going to trot on a loose rein. Good, keep the trot. And same thing now in the trot. Go from casual to concentrated, back to casual. So now friendly game with the bit while maintaining gait. So the purpose of this sequence is to test all of your horse's base responsibilities, right? Are they acting like a partner, maintaining gait, maintaining direction, and looking where they're going by not running over my corgi puppies? Beautiful. So you guys can see the horse is starting to think about stretching now 
which is a big deal for him. That's exactly why he's here. Day three in training and we're already getting some nice rhythm and relaxation here. Good, Murray. So I want you to repeat that again. Beautiful. Once more and then next time as you let the reins out, if he stretches down beautiful like that again, you're gonna do a downward transition without your reins. Really good. So this last step here that was beautiful, Marie, tests again your freestyle, because our freestyle comes before finesse for a reason. If the horse is not connected to our seat and our energy in the saddle, then our reins just become micromanaging and like manhandling them around, right? But we want reins to be for shaping and balancing. So I think we'll let him have another half circle and then let's go through the whole sequence again. You happy with his stretch? Yeah. Night and day from yesterday, even just in the walk here. You can see how much freer he is over his back because he's, he's relaxing now emotionally because he's trusting the rider, trusting her hand, and therefore trusting the bit, which is not, um, was not how he came. So she's starting the sequence all over again, going from casual to concentrated. Now, as she lets the reins go back out to casual, she'll ask for an upward transition to trot on a loose rein. Nice. Once she's in the trot, same exact thing. Casual rein to concentrated, and then back to casual, downward transition without your reins. Beautiful stretch as she's letting the reins out, and now she's just gonna slow her energy to a walk. Super duper. We're gonna do it one more time just for fun. I've taught this sequence at so many clinics and it takes a while to get it in your brain. So she went from casual to concentrated, keeping her hips moving. Now she'll go back to casual, opening the front door and ask him to trot forward on a loose rein. Good. Once she's in the trot, back to ca concentrated. Which just means picking up a soft feel. Keeping the rhythm in her posting trot now. And as the reins go long, once he's committed to forward on a loose rein, she'll ask for the walk without her reins just by slowing down her posting and bringing the energy in her body down. Beautiful job, Marie. Good job, Brulee. Good job, Calvin.